the, the rituals were uh, blood rituals, basically. So um, he also drank my period blood. No way. And, yes. Wow. Yes. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. And he said that... Uh, that <laughs> Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Hello, I'm doing well. Do you hear me well? Yes, this is uh, Melvin, Aked Mel. Can you hear me clearly too? Yes, I can hear you okay. clearly. Uh, my name, my full name is Melanie. Okay. But everybody calls me Melly. Okay. That's my calling name. And what is your, why does your Facebook have a different name? Just curious. I changed every uh, 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 to my Facebook because I didn't want to be like traced and mm. uh, after we broke up he was bugging me so I made all new accounts and I changed my name basically so it was hard for him to find me okay so when you say uh, your calling why. name that's your actual name or that or your government name or something or that's what people call you yes that's what people call me it's call like you. my okay. uh, my Original name is Melly, and okay. uh, my, my last name is so uh, that's also my name, but it's my middle name. Okay. Um, and it's just uh, yeah, just from uh, from a cartoon. Okay. So I basically uh, changed uh, changed my name, so I yeah, it was harder to trace for him. Okay, I got you. So you're okay with me recording, right? Because I wanted to share the story with people to maybe have an idea know your experience maybe for other women out there that have gone through this yes of course okay of course okay so can you take me back a little bit like maybe from the beginning when you guys first met how did you meet and stuff like that uh yeah uh i met him in uh 2016. uh i entered the, the group uh uh it was like a conscious group Mm. I cannot remember the name, but I entered that group, and uh, within that group, he was posting. And uh, one day, he sent me a DM that he had his own group, and if I was interested to join his group. Uh, and I said, yeah, of course, why not? So I uh, entered a ADAP Chambers, mm. uh, and back then, it was a group of a 1,000 people. And he only had uh, one one group uh, at that time, and that was around 2016, around October. Okay. And after after a few months, uh, I was because um, it's like this: if you're posting frequently on the page and he sees you, he basically tries to contact you if you want to be an admin or, or if you want to uh, be active, because it's a lot of work. I don't know if you know that, but if you run a page, you have to submit posts. You know, you right. have to, people have loads of questions. So right, right. Uh, it's hard to do this yourself if, if oh, yeah. you have work or other things to do as well. Right. So uh, he asked me, I think after the second month that I was in, he asked me if I wanted to be an admin because I was uh, a very active member. Uh, and I said, yeah, why not? Because I... I already like was admin for other groups, and uh, yeah, I I, I I don't don't mind. Then uh, I entered uh, the group, and uh, after yeah, basically maybe a week, he was like calling me a lot. You know, it was about Ada Chambers, but he was calling me constantly, like Nelly, this has to be changed, Nelly, that has to be. But it was about Ada Chambers. And then I was saying to him, like, yeah, you know, it gets uh, a lot of work because I have my own work next to this, you know. So he was saying, yeah, basically, if you really want to get good at this, you have to, you know, practice. You have to also be good in your meditation. Do you want some more lessons uh, of me? And I said, yes, why not? So uh, because I was seeing he was. Uh, like very skilled in his meditation skills and uh, he had uh, experience with that so I said yes so at that point I uh, started doing meditations with him and that was one-on-one -on -one. he was video calling me mm. and then he was uh, doing uh, meditation 
but uh, he was also asking me, yeah, to be in different positions. It were not sexual positions, if I think about it, it was just normal positions, but okay. he wanted the video call and he wanted to see you basically being in that position and then he would tell you how to sit, how to breathe, uh, what to say, what to do. And uh, after uh, uh, a couple of those sessions, he was uh, telling me like, Melly, you know, you're a very uh, attractive lady. You know, I see you're very passionate about this also, you know, and uh, you know that I, uh, that you see what kind of guy I am. I'm very serious, business-minded, you know, we could make this grow. And uh, then, uh, yeah, we started to develop a friendship after that. And uh, he was telling me that he liked me. And after that, he was basically saying, would you be interested in a relationship with me? Mm. And I said, whoa, you know, I, I'm like surprised about that question because I'm not on any of your level that you are, you know. I just came around and, and, and you asking me this question. And he was saying, yeah, but I see you're very skilled, you know, you can learn, you're eager. So uh, are you willing, you know, to, to also be with me in a relationship, you know, that could, could build us spiritually? And um, at that time, I was uh, also at a very uh, difficult point because I had many problems of myself uh, being, um, because my mother is also uh, 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 with, um, how do you say it? Uh, she has mental problems, um, so okay. uh, he was uh, he was helping me uh, to cope with that as well, and uh, how to deal with that, and uh, how I could get my emotions uh, more freely uh, about that, basically, and not get that much build up and frustration. But uh, to come to the point is that uh, uh, we then end up getting a relationship that was in. Uh, December of 2016 and um, what I uh, did forgot to tell you is that there was another lady in the group she was an admin as well but at the time when I entered uh, he was sending me messages like it was right before when we started a relationship he was telling me yeah she's she's getting jealous wait when and, did you guys start uh, the relationship to... sorry um, uh, we started a relationship in 2016, okay. uh, December. Okay. And um, in November, at that time, he was saying, uh, like, uh, that lady that was uh, the admin there, she has to go because she was, like, uh, acting jealous at us and she was sending him messages. And he showed me the messages and he said, it's basically better for you to block her. Mm. I'm saying this because I want to refer at this la at a later point. Okay. So um, I basically blocked her because I saw the messages and what she was saying, but I didn't see what he was saying. So, mm. but because I trusted him at that time, um, I just blocked her and I left it, and she left out of the group. And basically, me and him were admin, and we had a couple of people uh, also assisting us. And uh, we were in a relationship at that time. I live in Holland. He lives in uh, USA. So um, we were talking about uh, future things. So how we would do it, how we would live together, uh, when we would get married, if we can get married. You know, so we were mm -hmm. already uh, talking about uh, so serious. The future plans. Yeah. Yes. Mm. And um, after you could say, um, you could say, a couple of weeks, um, I would see in the group, he is very flirty, and I'm a person, like, I don't like it when uh, I'm with a guy in a relationship, and he flirts with other women, mm -hmm. but he was uh, saying to me, he was portraying it as, yeah, I show love, Many you have to show love to uh, the people who support us, you know, uh, give them heart, you know, I love your family, you know, because then they believe in you and then they understand, uh, you know, you are truthful with them. Uh, and I was like, but you only do it on certain posts and on women posts, what, what I mm. now see, because 
you don't put hearts on guy posts, you were saying, no, I don't do guy posts because that's gay. I think, yeah, of course, you know, like, why you put a heart then on a guy but not on a girl? Mm. Is, is there something sexual? Is there something attractive? Because you were doing on certain people as well, and I was noticing that, and he didn't like it. And every time I would say it, he would say, like, you're jealous, jealous, you don't understand, and... Um, we uh, would start to have like uh, discussions. Also, uh, yeah, you hear um, my, my English is I'm, I'm foreign. I don't speak the English very well, and uh, okay. of course, he knows that English is not my first language. What's your first but, language, uh, by the way? Was, uh, Dutch. Oh, cool. Okay. Dutch. I'm 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 from Holland, Amsterdam. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, at, uh, we had to make posts as well, and sometimes I would make like uh, an error in the spelling, in the correct grammar, and he would get so angry at me for that. Uh, and I would say, "But it's not my first language, so mm. yeah, it's not an excuse. You have to learn. You have to do better." And it would really start to get like, uh, how do you say, it? a denigrating uh, relationship. He was basically always pointing me on my fault and. When there were people in the group that were doing better, he was basically saying, look at her, look what she's doing. She can make jewelry or she can uh, play the drums and basically mm. you can do nothing. You cannot even uh, uh, speak good English and write good English. So I was uh, basically at that point and we were only like two months in the relationship. I was crying every day, every day, like, you know, because of these comments or things and it was uh, regarding work but it was also like uh, physical like no you're not strong enough you know to help me with the spiritual work because you're weak you know mm. you're weak enough with your uh, spirituality things which you have with your mom and uh, your own problems that you have to deal with and that you have to, to heal about so and I was saying as a partner uh, and as uh, you could say, like, you portray yourself as you help people. Why won't you help your partner then? I would say, why won't you help me? Because you're helping all of those people. And if you cannot help me, how can you help other people? So mm. at the point we were, like, uh, in a relationship that I felt uh, it was basically more about work than about love. In the beginning, like, before uh, he was courting me, that was not so long, maybe a couple of months altogether. And then we started a relationship. Okay. So after a couple of months is when you started the uh, relationship. Oh, hello? Ooh, lost her. Let me call her back. I think I lost her. This might call be, is being routed by Google. It might be, uh, the might be, this call is. Two cents per minute. Might be Shannon with the spirits and stuff. Maybe Shannon and Tareen, man. Shannon wasn't having that. <laughs> Y'all so retarded. It just amazes me how the educational system of America made so many idiots. <laughs> oh, this is just so beautiful. Hello? I'm sorry. That's you okay. We lost you. I don't know if that was Shannon. His, his uh, you know, his work. He's, he's, uh, no, 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 <laughs> no. But um, I was so the last I heard you, that, you were saying you guys he was courting you for a couple of months, you said, and then you guys started dating. Yes, and then we started dating, and okay. after it would get like real ugly, you know, he would uh, make nasty comments and he would uplift everybody uh, but me. Mm. And uh, what I have noticed uh, at that period as well, I. Uh, gotten very sick. I got in the hospital for uh, almost uh, a month and they couldn't find what it was and I would have sessions with him, therapy sessions as he would call them. But I was also uh, hearing uh, voices in my mind saying to basically to, to end my life. Wow. You know, I was being real depressed. So um, after, yeah, it gets really strange because I have a spiritual background uh, myself. Maybe that's why he was interested uh, in me or because I told him. 
uh, my uh, father was uh, into voodoo as well. Mm. And uh, I told him uh, certain things about uh, what we would do or how uh, we would practice it. And he would start to get into my mind uh, with that. He had like a contact that I could hear him as well without he calling me. So he was basically saying, Melly, call me. And I would call him and I would know that he was, I was hearing him calling me. And um, to, to, to refer to that as well, uh, after uh, we broke up, I spoke to the lady uh, that was uh, an admin as well in the group, and she was saying she, he did the same thing to her and that she would keep hearing his voice to contact him, to call him. And so I know he does the same similar thing uh, to people. Mm. You know, because after that, I, I could confirm what he has done and to another lady as well. And I tried to contact her as well. But, uh, yeah, it was three years ago now almost. So it's difficult. People have uh, uh, deactivated their accounts or right. I don't have their numbers, their right numbers anymore. So, um, but after this, um, I have to say I met him uh, once. For 10 days, I wow. went over to uh, Birmingham, Birmingham, uh, Alabama. Alabama. Mm, okay. Uh, I, I went there for 10 days and we uh, stayed in a hotel. I uh, met his uh, mother and his sister uh, there. She was currently living there and he was living at his mom as well. Okay. And um, yeah, in the when we were in the hotel, um, we didn't have transportation. He didn't have a car at that time, so his mother drove us to the hotel. And mm, what kind of car was went, it? Um, it's hard for to, for me to remember, but okay. it wasn't uh, like the car he drives now. It was a okay. black car. Okay. But I don't know. Uh, but it was a black car, so it was different because I was thinking at that point as well, like which kind of color or brand was it. Mm. But um, we uh, basically did everything uh, by foot, and when we were in the, in the hotel, we were uh, working a lot as well because that w was what we were doing. You could see that he's very active. That's what he does, you could say, 20 hours of the day. And the rest, he said he was uh, spent uh, meditating and working out. So mm. you say working spent, on uh, Facebook, of, right? Yes, mm. Facebook because that's that's the, the major income. Facebook, the, the all the pages, and um, uh, when I was at the hotel with him. Uh, we uh, did some uh, rituals as well. Really? Uh, binding rituals, yes, and um, the the rituals were a uh, blood ritual, basically. So uh, he also drank my period blood. No way. And, yes. Wow. Yes. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, and he said that uh, that would really connect us. You know, that would really uh, tie our bond. So. Yeah, I really trusted him in this, you know, because right, right. And, and, and that's and that, and that's what I'm afraid of because he he would never, you know, I, I think the worst of him, but not the worst. Do you understand? I would never, never, ever think he would do this because otherwise I wouldn't have go there. And that's what I think that uh, uh, Leila as well would have think like you have so many people that know you and support you and like you and you're perpetrating yourself as you're doing so many good and that's why you think you think somebody couldn't do that kind of thing you know you would never think of that you know you would think about okay rituals you know you could do some food do but even a uh, food do to do to a bad thing because I experienced that as well it's like from a distance you know you do it uh, in people their food or 
you uh, do it uh, when you're with that person, you know, like a partner of that person and you want to hurt that person. You know, it's very personal uh, normally, Fudu. You okay. know, so it's um, with, with him, uh, I, and that's why I don't think this is like a sacrifice or something because he is, yeah, it's, it's hard to say because I'm, I'm, you're doubting because you're thinking like I was in that hotel room with him as well. Why didn't he do that with me, or why right, didn't he right. do that with his ex? Then you know. So I, I was really like like thinking about that, and the only thing that uh, I saw that was strange were these things. But because we talked about it, it wasn't that strange when he br- bring it up or when he wanted to do it. So I wasn't scared for that. Um, and uh, the only thing I ever uh, uh, experienced like physical with him was one night we were sleeping and I was trying to touch him mm-hmm. and he uh, tried to like choke me but when he uh, was awake like when he was awake he was saying oh, oh what what oh I th- and he was saying shit what, what did I do I said you choked me you were really choking me and he was saying shit mom I was thinking I was getting a flashback from out of jail, and mm. so that was the, the the only experience that I had with him, like physical, really. So let me ask you: so you you were trying to touch him at night, and he cut. You're saying when he went to choke, he was kind of like he just popped up and started choking, you, or were you guys actually doing yes. something? Yes. Yes. No. no he no. just jumped I was out, just rolling over, and, wow. and, and touching him, basically. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that was, yeah, and, and, and that was the only thing that I basically, uh, uh, yeah, physical uh, attachment that happened, you know, that he ever touched me or something that happened. To hurt you, you're saying. Uh, like right. that. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. But uh, never, you know, he could yell or he could be loud, you know, like, like he is. He could talk a lot, but I'm already used to that. So it wasn't, uh, yeah. It wasn't really scary to me or, or something. Mm. And um, how long did it choke you for? It was just like a minute. Was it like? No, it was just like a real brief minute, but oh, okay, it was okay. like really hard. You know, I was mm. like, you know, when you try to stroke somebody and they just latch out at you, right, you know, right. like whoa, like yeah. In, in their... And then when they see when they see like you were awake, you know, they were like whoa. So he wasn't like when he was awake, he wasn't going through with it. You know, he, he stopped when he was okay. uh, awake and noticing it as, as well. And he mentioned it was so, like a flashback then, uh, in prison. Yes, yes. Mm. He talked about it. He was saying like, Nelly, really, uh, those sudden moves, you really have to watch out, you know, because mm. this and that. I've been to prison. He has lied about that as well to me, basically. He said to me that he only been to prison uh uh five years mm. and uh or that he was sentenced longer but he only done five years and he told me about the bur- burglar that it was for uh robbing uh somebody and uh he told me about weed but he didn't say that it was uh that long mm. at that time he also told me that he learned a lot uh for basically everything uh, that he knows uh, now in prison. He wow. read more than uh, uh, between the, uh, he said he read uh, to 20,000 to 30,000 books. He was reading, basically studying, and uh, that he met somebody from the Grand Master Lodge as well in jail, and that uh, they learned him uh, quite as much as well, and uh, somebody that was uh, practicing witchcraft as well that uh, learned him uh, quite as much. Wow. Yeah, so, yeah, he, he was basically saying he did uh, uh, the, the traineeships. Uh, he was uh, also uh, learning people uh, in jail, like uh, giving uh, mentorships uh, to people the, the last uh, years. Mm. And uh, that he very had uh, good behavior and... Uh, that everything was okay, and uh, that was another thing as well. He had uh, a affair with a guard, or he had a relationship with a guard as well. 
when he came out. Uh, female or and, male? Uh, a female. A oh, female. Okay. I can't remember her name anymore, uh, okay. but um, he, he told me that when he came out that he had uh, a relationship with a guard, but um, it didn't work out. Mm-hmm. And he came, he told me, if I'm correct, that he came out of prison 2015, so that year before that he came out of prison. Mm-hmm. And he was, uh, yeah, basically staying at his uh, mom that time. Yeah, because I read that, like, he went into prison supposedly as a Baptist, but then he came, whatever he went through in prison, he learned, like you're saying, a lot of his stuff in there, and he came out the way he is. Yeah. When you yes. say Grandmaster Lodge, what is that? That's, like, one of the highest ranks of the Freemasons. Mm. So you have the, the ranks up until the 13th uh, rank, okay. and he was basically in the 13th rank. So he knew a lot about uh, the Freemasonry, and he said he learned about that as well. And he was sharing a, a cell with, uh, yeah, uh, he called him a witch as well, that guy. Mm. He was practicing uh, voodoo, witchcraft, everything, and he was learning him to study in certain books and how to get the information out of it, what he needed, and to combine the information, what he needed. What uh, he wanted uh, to accomplish, because I always asked him, like, what do you want, like, with these groups, you know, because we're working now, but what do you want? We're, we're posting, we're doing. He was saying, I want to basically make my living out of this, my imperium out of this. And he was saying, everybody is going to know that I'm superior and, uh, you know, that I really have this knowledge. And um, they're going to recognize that um, basically he's the real deal. Right. And I was saying, okay, okay. I was saying, but then uh, you really uh, want to become in the spotlight, you know, he was saying, no, I'm still working on my skills, you know, the, the tarot card reading, because he didn't know any of this. Uh, he, he, he basically, he's, he's self-skilled. He learned everything himself. He was now, mm. uh, in 2016, he was saying, I want to learn tarot cards. So he was learning that. And then he, I think he presented that in 2017, also on the Ada Chambers. But before he did that, I was gone. Our relationship, um, let, let me uh, say it good. Let me refer to the hotel. When I uh, went there the 10 days, it was basically uh, okay. Um, we, did, we had a couple of uh, fights, uh, you know, because of, yeah, I was saying to him, like, we cannot do a lot, you know. You're working a lot. I was thinking this was more us time. You know, and it was wasn't really mm. personal, unless until it came to the uh, bedtime, and uh, when we had intercourse, because then he wanted to start practicing rituals as well. Mm. So uh, what I felt afterwards is basically I was getting used for the the rituals and the, and the Ada chambers. Um, but I also uh, felt funny about this. Because he couldn't, he said he couldn't open a bank because he didn't have the right papers yet because he uh, came out of jail. So I gave him my uh, credit card to use as well. So I would deposit money on it and um, that, that he basically would have uh, money to eat or to uh, went to buy the tarot cards or things for ADAP chambers. When did he get out and, of prison? Uh, or jail? Um, he said to me 2015. Okay. I, I don't know correctly what month. Right, right. Okay. But, uh, that, that, so that was a year before we were together, basically. Okay. And um, um, let me go back. We were uh, at the hotel. Then I went back home. And uh, when I uh, went back home, uh, I think a couple of weeks after, two weeks after, we uh, had a new admin. 
uh, Tiffany uh, Sandal, mm -hmm. and um, he was uh, yeah very happy uh, about her because uh, she already had uh, a business and her business was in I think she studied um, uh, how do you call that a dietitian yeah good? yeah that's a yeah, dietitian mm -hmm. yes. Yes, she had her own company. She was uh, with uh, supplements and vitamins. Mm. And soon, I think maybe uh, two weeks, three weeks after she entered, she was sending him things like uh, vitamins. And uh, mm. he was saying, I got a package from Tiffany. She sent me vitamins. Oh, I said, oh, that's nice of her, you know, mm. and uh, to do that. What does she want uh, back? Oh, nothing. No, she's very good. I think we should... Uh, you know, uh, we should uh, uh, make her also um, not an admin, but also somebody that could edit on the page. You know, that uh, mm. oh, yeah. is like has more rights. Right. A monitor, moderator, mm -hmm. moderator. Right. So I said, okay, that, that's good. You know, we, we could use all the help. So he made a moderator. After a while, he was saying, you know, Melly, I have a, I have a different path. My path. Uh, is, is different. My ancestors told me that, uh, you know, we, we can uh, think limited uh, with this. We need uh, really more people. I said, yeah, this is good. You know, I understand what you're talking about. You were saying, what do you think about the second wife? I say, no, that was mm. totally not what I was thinking. And you were saying, yeah, you have to be open-minded and then you cannot walk this path with me because only people that understand my path will walk this path with me and you cannot be close-minded to think that we could do this alone. I was saying, so I cannot see how you cannot work with her and do, just basically don't have sex with her. You could just make uh, how you do, how business do it normally. You make an agreement, a contract, and you say this person owns 50% of this, this person owns this percent of this, and you don't have to get married or have sex. No, you totally don't understand my point. I say, no, I don't. And I say, I'm totally not into this. I don't want mm. my, I have two children of myself. I said, I don't want my children to be confused in, in this life. It's good that other people choose for this, but I don't choose to live like this. So um, at that point, um, I think we had this argument. We said, okay, let it go, Melly, not for now, this, that, that. Um, I, and I let it go, basically. And then two weeks after, he said, like, Melly, uh, uh, I, don't, um, I don't care if you don't want it. Uh, I'm bringing Tiffany in the relationship. Mm. I'm saying, what? What What are you saying? Yeah, I'm bringing Tiffany in the relationship. I'm saying, like, huh? How? Like, when? Like, you know? Uh, yeah, um, Tiffany, this, that. Tiffany already has. Uh, a previous uh, polygamous relationship uh, mm. with somebody so she was open to be in a polygamous relationship with him basically and with me apparently without me knowing it but okay <laughs> um, I was talking to her as well about this so I knew about this and I had a gut feeling about this but I didn't want to speak it out so I already basically knew in my mind, this was going on because she was telling me about polygamy. He was then coming up with polygamy. I was thinking like, okay, how? You know, and then uh, he told me this and uh, I basically said, okay, uh, we're, uh, we're done. When we had this argument, he put me out of all the groups, everything. He removed me everywhere uh, so I couldn't access nothing. And in the meantime, from, I told you in the beginning, 2016, we were 1,000 people. We were at 45,000 uh, now. Yeah, it's incredible. And that, wow. is, and that was within six months. Wow. And what we would basically do is, because uh, he, uh, before he had Ada Chambers, he was working for another group. And they were taking members out of other groups, making fake pages and adding them. So that was what we basically were doing. So that was like a consuming job to get that much people. But he wanted so, about What were you guys doing? What was the strategy? Um, if you can repeat it. Uh, fake pages. You make uh -huh. fake pages. And then you go in those groups. You add all those people on your list. And then you can basically throw them in your, wow. in your page or on your, in your group. Yeah. Wow. And 
And when they're in, they're in because they're already interested in spirituality and right. these things. So when they're when they're in, they're in. They're, they're going to stay on your page mm. unless it's, it's not too much. But basically, everybody stayed in, and then we basically the the fake account would get deactivated by Facebook itself, or we would make new. We would have 10, 20, 30 of them, and wow. all of the admins would do this. Wow. Every, everybody was required to do this uh, to gain more people for the page. Mm. So, um, after I was gone, he removed also, oh, I forgot to say, he removed every admin as well because oh. they had my back on this. Uh, we posted in the group, yeah, we're so in love, we're going to get married, this, that, bullshit, twin flame, you know. Everybody sees Melly and Shannon. We sign every post with our name, like we did with mm. Melly and Tiffany. It, uh, like Shannon and Tiffany in the beginning, he was doing with Melly and things. So everybody saw this. So everybody was upset. Where's Melly? Where's Melly? Melly's gone. And then you would say like, yeah, uh, when there's rats on the ship and, and the ship is drinking, who's jumping out first? You see the rats are jumping out and the good ones stay on the boat. Mm. He was making all kinds of posts about us that we betrayed him and that we talked mm. dirty about him and that we didn't appreciate the help and the service he gave for free to us and that we were ungrateful and that we were... I was men mentally ill because my mom is mentally ill and you know I have like uh, abuse uh, in, in my background so mm, okay. I was... Uh, he was using that, you know, uh, against me as well. Like, yes, she was ill, she was weak, this, that. And uh, now I have a stronger woman that, that could help me in my past and this and that. And that was Tiffany. So I think uh, two weeks after, he was taking all of his posts with Tiffany, but he removed all of the group, uh, all of the admins, everybody, and he made new admins, he take new admins on. So nobody... There were people that would know, but still because, you know, the, the changes were, uh, yeah, were going so fast and it was fading away and they were basically not hearing anything about me anymore, then it just fades away. Just like he currently did with Tiffany and I think he's now with Christina Lawson. He mm -hmm. kicked Tiffany out and now he's basically doing everything with her. So it, it's a pattern with him that he just uses you and he basically, I think he used Tiffany very well, I think. Mm. Didn't spoke to her or something after that because he made, uh, he did the same thing. He made her block me so I couldn't get in contact with her anymore. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. So, uh, yeah. And the um, yeah, after that, um, because I still had problems with depression and I was still having uh, these problems and hearing these voices in my head, um, I went to my uncle. My uncle is, uh, yeah, in our culture, he helps, he sees spiritual things as well. And um, he said from the beginning, I went to a party when I was with Shannon. He was saying like, Melly, when I'm around you, my throat, uh, it flips, uh, it, it basically suffocates. He said, what are you doing now? With Who are you? I said, yeah, I'm with a guy from America. He said, that guy is no good. Or dark, all dark. I see all dark mm. things. And I was thinking, you know, because he's on the dark path, he's on the dark things, that's basically what they see, you know. So I was not really getting into it but when after when I went to him he said Melly he did really bad things to you he made you consent into things you know like um, the blood ritual and the things like that it could really play with your mind if you don't fully know what you're doing and to who you're doing it with and if the people don't mean good to you it could do you very harm so uh, he disconnected that tie from me basically with him and um, after that, I felt better, but it took me uh, a real year to recover from uh, from this all and from the relationship. So when was the last time you spoke to him? Was that it? Um, that was, I think, 27 August. I sent the text 
to you guys and that okay. was literally the last time I spoke to him. I blocked everything. I changed everything on my social media, everything on my face, everything I changed. So uh, he tried to contact me, but I changed my number. He had my number on uh, WhatsApp. I changed my number. So uh, I still had the same address. Uh, he didn't uh, send nothing. I uh, The only thing what he did, I got uh, a message from another account. Like, uh, hi, hi Melly, how are you, how are you doing? Uh, and this and that, but I didn't re read, but I see his name, I, because you can open the message, but you cannot fully go in that you like, uh, that the pe people see that you have seen the message. So I read it, and then he uh, said Shannon, but it was from a different other page that I never had seen. So, but I blocked it instantly, and that was like six months ago. Okay. Um... Let me ask this. Did, do you know if he had a child? Did he have any kids? No, no, he doesn't okay. have any children. Okay. Um, so the rituals, I mean, I, I, the hotel thing was a little surprising to me what you told me. What, like, what other rituals did you do with him? I mean, I know you told me the, the blood. What are, what are binding rituals? Um, that are basically you have uh, sex rituals that, that you could do and uh, binding rituals are mostly um, yeah, uh, with, you could do that with blood or you could do uh, uh, with tantra, tantra sex, you know, we, we did with the inhaling, uh, the, the breathing exercise but then, then you inhale each other's breath and then you sit in the lotus position basically. Okay. But that's not uh, a, a ritual on itself. That's basically also, the, the, uh, yeah, to basically circle the, the the full life. So it is a ritual, but um, and um, what we would do, yes, often we had, and I don't know it anymore. But he made me say like uh, a text. Mm. That was basically like that. That our soul is tied um, mm. um, because we do this ritual. Our soul is tied. Um, you know, it was. Just, I, I don't know it anymore. But right, it right, was basically okay. a, a thing we had to say uh, uh, as well during the the ritual. Uh, so, has it? Did, you, did he ever mention Leela? Have you ever spoken to him about Leela? Or you just heard about it now when the news happened? No, no. I just heard about her now. I think uh, Tiffany might know more because that right. was really her period when he went with her. Okay. But he, 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 I was so surprised when he said he lived with her and things like that. So after that, I soon already uh, read like it was false because... I was thinking like it could be true because she's into the polygamy thing, so mm -hmm. it could be true. But um, I wouldn't think that, you know, that she would go and agree with that. No, not in that way, not in that manner that somebody just knocks on your door and uh, no, no. Uh, okay. They would have courted her online and then she would have moved in and things like that. So that Did would have you... gone different. Were you sending him money, like, before you guys actually met and you were in the hotel, did you sometimes send him money to help out with things? Or whatever? Yes. Yes. Okay. Like, yes. a lot of money, you think, or just... No, no. I think during the whole time, I sent him about $1,000. 1000 okay. US. Yeah. And... Yeah. So, so you guys you had your falling out. I know you showed me the messages that he went with Tiffany. From what I saw, because I saw some messages online... It seems they had a fallout too eventually, and he had this other person, Christina. Which Christina, I guess she's in the hospital. If there's yeah, right? okay, yes, yes. What what I've heard because I have a mutual friend that knows her as well. Uh, he was saying that she has cancer for a long time now. Okay. All so, right. And let me ask you this so, because okay, I know you were telling me you know you had your mental 
your mental health stuff that you're going on. Your mother had that too, which is like a serious topic too that people need to talk about. But um, yeah, so he knew about that, and I guess maybe he somewhat kind of took advantage. Uh, yes, yes, and what I forgot to say because that's important. It just uh, comes to my mind. What I also think that that was similar about us all. He was really into breastfeeding. Somebody was saying that as well. Like Tiffany was breastfeeding at the time, and he would say he wanted me to get pregnant uh, mm. because we talked about that. Then he was saying, can I drink your breast milk? I was saying, like, mm. uh, why? <laughs> Did you, he was saying breast milk is life, and that's the only thing that I could live off. If, if you want, you could only uh, drink the, the breast milk. And uh, Tiffany was still breastfeeding her child as well. And I, I have read that Layla also was breastfeeding her child as well. Mm. So okay. that's, like, something that I see, like, that's, like, a thing that's like a fetish of, of what what he had okay uh so did you love him did you consider that you loved him when you were together as when you guys were together yes yes you, you know and 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 at the end i was looking at at it and i was thinking is that love you know mm. because i was loving him because i'm a very loving and honest person you know so uh uh, maybe naive because um, I come from a different country. It's very different how the people are, are here than in America. You could say we're very, um, how do you say it? You, you are, you're in a small country. Everything is little, countryside. And in America, everything is big, big houses, big mm. malls, you know, so... We think like we're very humble and, 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 and different. So when you meet somebody like that with so much uh, knowledge and teaching and things, it could be overwhelming, you know. Okay. And at that time, um, maybe also because he was very kind. He, he was at the beginning, he was very kind. He very, he was very helpful. Uh, he listened. So... Yeah, it's it's just like and and maybe you understand that wrong with love mm. because soon it changed into very mean things, you know. Mm. And then I was thinking like this, and all the time I was thinking like this person could not love me. Otherwise, why would you say that? And in the things that he would do, I would question him. But I definitely loved him. Yes, yes. I okay. and I think he didn't love me because he is a user. He just uses people, and that's what I see afterwards. And with the with the mental health aspect, the stuff you were going through, because I'm thinking about Christina and the cancer. Because I remember when he yeah. was talking in that video, he said he was trying to do some spiritual things to help Christina, and I guess apparently that didn't work, and she ended up having to go to the hospital. And what I wanted to know was that when you were going through your, your mental stuff and you were hearing voices and all that, did his sessions help you with that? Or, I mean, what do you think about that? No, it got worse. It got worse. It got it worse. Got wow. Yes, it oh, got you got hospital. hospital. For that. Okay. Yeah. Wow. It, it made me sick. It made me real sick. And, and when I think about it, it's like that made me sick. I know, like, you cannot say it 100%, but the doctors cannot find nothing. It's nothing. Mm. You only have... Uh, they say um, I had infections in my body, but they cannot say where. I just have a high infection rate. Mm. Okay. And that keeps going up. I have 40 degrees, 41 degrees, 10 days in a row. They keep giving it, uh, getting it down, but they cannot find nothing. Mm. So it's strange. And then afterwards, when I, when I cannot talk to you and I speak to you less, it gets better. Really? That's strange well that's strange as well so no he so i would have think he hurted people in that way but right. never that he could be physically hurt somebody because i was thinking in my mind then he would do it to me or to his ex you know or mm -hmm. do you but know then again the... we were we 
we were people who were contending, you know, we were right, like, right. because we were in the relationship, we were very willing to do what he wants. We were not saying no to him right. uh, the majority of the time. And somebody that doesn't know him or doesn't have a relationship with him, and maybe he's asking other things that she didn't like, that it could be escalated. Is he, uh, do you know, is he like gender fluid or? What is that? Gender fluid, mean meaning, that? meaning like, um, he goes, messes with guys too, or is it only just women, like his interest? You, you know what it is? It's like very private for me to talk about. Okay, I, I understand. Gets, That's fine. You don't have to. I don't know out. if it gets aired mm. because then I have to tell you things about myself maybe. You know, oh, but okay. he did some things to me that I think that was questionable. Like, mm. Mm, okay, like normally, but I don't know. Everybody has a different, uh, uh, yeah, a different perspective on that because right, right. some people do that as well, and they aren't, you know, right, right, they, right. They aren't gay or something. They right. have. Uh, well, some people are just like well, kind of. You know what I'm because yeah. somebody told me he was like, um, I forgot what the exact word is, but he just wasn't, he was okay kind of with being with men too, kind of. I mean, I don't know if that's true or not, but he didn't see like gender or something like that, more of like a spirituality of somebody. I don't know the exact wording, so that's why I asked. He considered you himself like a, a goddess or God and a now, goddess or something just, like that? Just now, I seen the post. Yeah. I unfollowed him for three years long, but just now I unblocked him in, in the messenger and I go and look on the page and see what he's writing, writing and I see that he's signing as goddess and he's mm -hmm. talking, preferring him as a bitch and a witch mm -hmm. because usually if you are a witch and you are a guy, you, you're a warlock, you're not a witch. Right. But I could be wrong. But well, somebody warlock, told me that too. Is, is the term for the guy in the witch term. So why you call yourself a witch? Yeah. So I don't know what he was on, but you've been in jail also for 13 years. So some people on some weird, weird, sorry, weird things this time. So I don't know anymore. Right. I really don't know. Right. That's what I also have to say. That's what's coming on to me right now as well. I had, my daughter was then, she was eight year old, and we had a discussion uh, about... How do you feel uh, about, uh, like, uh, uh, they're having sex with 12-year-olds? He was saying, like, in other countries, it's condoned to have sex with 12-year-olds. Uh, look at uh, right. the belief uh, um, Mohammed, I think, or Allah had several wives, and he had... Kid, with, very young, uh, right? Yes. Yeah. So he was referring to that as well. I was saying it's sick. I was saying you're sick in your head if you do that. Yeah, but some consider if you have, if they have pubic hair, they're grown. I think you're sick because in the mind, it's still a child. So why would you take the innocence? Because that's what you're doing. The innocence of a child is in, and I say you know that because you study that. I say you mm. know that the innocence is taking off right away when you have sex with a child. Right. It's taking off. You know, it breaks something in the child. And, and why would you do that at 12 year old when, when you're, you know, at what age? It, it's, not, it's not, so I was getting very emotional about that. And I was saying, how do you think you think about that? You were saying, man, you get emotional. For some people, it's normal. Look mm -hmm. at there, look at this, look what this people is doing. So he was not saying that he was against it. He was basically saying that other people are, are doing this. And yeah, that, that it's condone or something i was more likely he was saying that he's good with it than than wrong you have to say you have to be open-minded or something i was saying mm. i'm totally not open-minded about that sorry you know right. i have a little girl as you know and i'm very protective about it they never met my children he never met my children by the way okay so, so this was I'm like a conversation you guys were having and it was just kind of weird yeah because he was like talking yeah about it and yeah right yeah Wow, so, that is interesting. But, so so he, I don't know what, what he's up to with the goddess thing, but right. it could be that he was uh, bisexual. Yeah, I hear rumors about that, so I was yeah. just wondering. Mm. Yeah.
he, uh, so he definitely with this, the dark side of this stuff, the spirituality, all this stuff, he was serious about it. It wasn't like, cause some of us, some, a lot of us were wondering, I was wondering, is this just a front for him or does he actually believe in this? So from no, your no, experiences, no, no, no. it seems like he believes life. it. This, this is, is life. life. Wow. Yes. This is life. Okay. This is his life. And I know from a fact that he could do certain things. So it's not gaming. It's really not gaming. He can mm. get into your head. So um, if he could do that, you know, if he could lure you, if he could, and it's not the word. It's, and people don't understand. They say, yeah, it's a con, it's magic. Yeah. I have seen voodoo. I have seen these things in front of me. And until you have seen it, and it, or it has happened to you, mm-hmm. you will not believe it. You will okay. not believe it. So uh, everybody could tell their own experience, but this is what I have experienced. And right. he could really do things like uh, he was talking about the actual travel uh, projection, actual traveling. Um, I could literally having sex with him and he wasn't there Wow! so we were on the phone or something but he could really like and he and and basically we had a charm then you charm and you call and then we could get connected in that way as well so it would get really deep and mm. that was also because of the the ritual we have done he said okay Wow but uh, I don't know what is true or not because right. I don't know the things that he has done, if it was good, if it was bad, because I'm not well experienced in that way because in our culture we have our own things that we do and usually it's not for bad, it's just for good luck, you know, for yourself, right, right. for spirituality, basically you pray, you use some spiritual bad water, you know, that kind of thing. It's just like spirituality, but he's very dark. He's very dark. Uh, I was wondering too, cause I saw the screenshots you sent me. Thank you for sending those. Um, at one part he stated yeah. that you heard him in one of the messages, but you didn't talk bad about him and that you told Seha enough about her business that she could do it. Yeah. What did that mean? Um, yeah, I told her basically I was, she shot was uh, a oh, member of, uh, was also an admin. Okay. And uh, I basically told everybody uh, that he was a fraud. That's why mm. he was uh, flipping out. Like, yeah, you took everybody because he was like oh. friends with these people as well. You know, we had a several mm. male uh, admins, um, uh, six girls, you know. And yeah, we're really close because every uh, morning we had like um, a meeting online chat mm. what do we do what what are the things that we have to do what are the rules so he's basically ruling a, a real company online you could say he has no job that was his job that is still his job okay wow very interesting thank you so much for your time i appreciate you giving me some of this insight uh what was oh so did you the one last thing too. So I know you said you saw him for the yeah. ten days. That was the one time you saw him in person. Did you guys have plans to see each other again, or things kind of fell off after? Yes, I I tried to see him after, but then mm. he uh, uh, said about the polygamy and Tiffany, and I broke up the relationship. Oh, okay. So okay. there was no uh, me of coming there anymore. Okay. Wow. Okay. Thank you so much. I mean, do you have any other final thoughts or maybe for just in general for a woman out there, you know, I mean, I don't know any cautionary tale or just to be careful. Yeah. You, you just basically have to be really careful what you also say to people and uh, because he perpetrate himself as a real good healer, a teacher and people that he helps people. But uh, if you give people that kind of information, they could have a hold on you as well. So right. be very careful with what kind of information you share as well. And basically do studies on your teachers as well or who you're following because everybody could be a fraud, you know? Let me and, ask you, and, and, and don't... when you say he's a fraud, in what sense do you mean? Because he's legit with the dark magic, I guess, right? Or the dark spirituality. Yes. 
But as far yeah, as but how, like, we, pulling people in? It's, ba- it's basically, I don't know if he really does what he says because he, he says he does a prosperity spell that means something good, right? Right. But he could hex you as well. Look what he's talking uh, about, about it. Right. 90% I'm hexing you, I'm hexing you, mm-hmm. you, you're not. So that's what I'm saying. Just be careful because I don't think he is giving you a prosperity. He's maybe taking this prosperity that mm. you have. He's taking that from you, the energy that you have. Instead right. of giving you that, so no, I don't. That's what I mean by fraud and con men because loads of people have a like bad experience with him as well. They told and they he, he they just blocked. They get blocked. Right. So. So no, it's um, it's it, and that's what I mean by fraud and and the things are as well. People think. Uh, when you do tarot card readings and things like that, spiritual healing, that you're doing this for years, maybe. He mm. was only, when he started this, he was doing this for six months. He, he learned himself to do tarot card reading, and now you're paying a hundred just to do a tarot card reading. Or you're mm. paying Tiffany that just learned it, mm. or me that don't know anything. You're you're mm. you're paying That's us because it's time, it's name. Right. So it's it, it's fraud. It's fraud. Right. You know, yeah, I don't think it's it's it, it's good anyway. You know, it's it's not good to to um, how do you say it? to to mislead people in 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 that way. I don't think he he was uh, legit because he comes over like he does this many years. He would tell people as well that he does this many years, but he he just learns things in prison. He just read a lot and. That just combined combined him to the person that he is. Okay. All right, Melly. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate yeah. you coming on. Thank you for the, for your insight. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for for hearing me as well. I think it's very important for other women that want to come forward as well, or want to come from that have known him or have any contact with him. That it's important just now to just blow the whistle basically on him because I kept still because. I don't think I have a lot, you know. He didn't um, abuse me really like that. He did some real bad things to me, you know, but it's nothing like what happened to Leila right now, you know. It's right. just when I think about it, I'm just happy that that happened. At the time, it was really bad for me, but this now, this, this would cost me my life. So I'm yeah. so happy that, you know, this could be prevented and... People have to stop believing in him and everything what he what uh, what he says, and really don't meet people online. Yeah, yeah. Think that you know mm-hmm. them. Go with a friend. Go with a friend or somebody when you meet a, a person for the first time. It doesn't matter if you've seen the person on video chat. It don't matter. People are sick these times, you know. Yeah. And we really have to be precautious of our of our life. So, yeah, I think that you guys had that distance that could have been to your benefit too. That you get you're yeah. all the way out, you know, so far away. The other thing too, yeah. like you, what you're saying, and this is something I've learned online in my own experience. You got to be really careful what you divulge to people, what information you tell them, because the minute yeah. these people get upset, yeah. they turn it on you. They put your stuff yeah. everywhere, and they use I'll, it against you and they yeah. manipulate you. You know. Yes. Yeah. So. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and and been many times like this. Um, he called out another uh, member, um, Stacy. She was admin back in our group back then, and I I still she uh, saw she was uh, also uh, apparently um, having contact with him. I don't know why, but now because he is calling her out for uh, that she's using meth and things like that. She was saying, "Yeah, you're sick." But she already knows that he has done all these things. I already told her. He has already put her out of the group. And that's what mm. I think sometimes. Some people like going through this, you know. Mm, and they I don't agree. know how how people can hurt them. Because mm. ba- basically people would never think like he could do this, I think. Because you have so many followers. You have so many eyes, so many people on you. But still. So, Yeah. I just hope the best. I really hope the best. But uh, it's, it's very, it's a very sad story. This very sad. Right, right. Yeah. 
Well, thank you so much yeah. again. Feel free to reach out to me anytime. You, you, you as well. You as well. Have a nice evening. You too. Thank you.